just want to say thank you. Thank you for everybody that wants to join the SSTC and have DM'd me on Instagram. It has restored all hope. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you missed it, you are watching The Handyman. In this video, I wanted to go over some tile installation tools, specifically for installing a backsplash. I've had a lot of questions since the massive backsplash tile installation video, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a video on some DIY tools to install a tile backsplash. This here is not going to be part of the video, but I just wanted to show it off. This is my Hilti ATC TE56. This is a mean, mean tile eating machine. And the reason I'm bringing up these tile removal tools is I had a question. Is do you need to remove old tile uh, before you put new tile up? And the answer is yes. Definitely yes. Especially for backsplash because you'll have some real thick backsplash coming out and, and you won't be able to cover up the edges unless you put in a bunch of grout and it'll look goofy. A hammer and a chisel a tool such as this, a brushless SSD tool like this, will remove old backsplash tile. Um, a tool like this will definitely remove old backsplash tile. Uh, you can get bits that are like this to fit into this. So the ladies, they have little donuts, little yellow donuts that go around the chisel to protect your, your soft hands. So once you get it removed, the, the drywall is ruined and you would have to replace that. This also goes with, say, shower tile. You remove your, you know, your builder grade four inch by four inch tile. You wanna put something nice up. There is a 99% chance that uh, you're gonna to have to remove all the green board that it was attached to. How do I know it's green board? Because I started off with saying builder grade. Unless you have a custom made bathroom, you're gonna have green board, which is just a a water resistant slash waterproof drywall. So that would be the first step is to remove old tile. Now I do want you to, to go back and watch my massive backsplash tile installation video and you'll see that I didn't use a tape measure ever. All I did was take a piece of tile, stick it up there, mark it, and then the, flip it, cut it, and the cut edge goes tucked in nicely behind the next tile that would, would butt into it. Uh, no need to polish your edges with a diamond file, uh, although you can, in certain situations, get a really nice edge by using a diamond file after you cut, if you have to have an exposed edge. The most common way to cover up the edge of your tile is with this aluminum channel here. That is kind of the finished edge there. Looks nice. Um, so you don't have a caulk line or a grout line on the edge. I got several uploaded to YouTube. And I might even have one that uh, that's not uploaded to YouTube. I use this thing right here. This will save you so much time. This is a tile cutter. I'll try to drop some clips in of me using this in past tile videos. Um, it just saves a so much time from going outside or to your designated uh, wet saw cutting location. It, it'll, it's a night and day difference. If you're in the business, it makes you a lot of money to invest in a simple Sentinel tile cutter. This is this is not pro grade. None of this stuff is pro grade. This one here might be a higher end consumer grade, but it suited me fine. I do five, six tile jobs a year. That's it. And um, I might probably make an excess of twenty, thirty thousand dollars with these tools every year. So they're they're good enough for me. Um, well, we'll get into the saws, where I got them, what they're good for in just a second. This is another tool. It's called little nippers. Get in there. And so I'm gonna show you how this works here. You can be nipping some tile, and all of a sudden a poof pops and a crack, and your your tile's gone. So say you had an outlet that you needed just to break the corner off of or work your way around. You just take a little bite, just a little bite at a time. Get crazy with it and nip all you want. These two, the nippers and the file, you can do some good work. 
uh, especially when it's going to be covered by an escutcheon in a, in a shower or a, a plate around an outlet. Um, now let's get into the nitty gritty. Why most people do not do their own tile work. I've got a close friend uh, that just put peel and stick tile on their backsplash because one, they didn't want to pay anybody to do it. And two, they didn't want to rent the tools. They didn't want to learn how to use the tools. They didn't want anything to do with it. They want to peel and stick and use a pair of scissors and apparently it looks all, it looks great. I'm going to just give close-ups. See that little wheel there? That is a very sharp wheel that will score the glazing on these common subway tiles. Of course, I'm, hopefully I, if I've done my, my work, I'll be putting in some clips of me using this machine here. This tile saw here is an old school homeowner grade bridge saw. And the reason I purchased it is, this version, is because of this long cut here. You can do 24 inch cut on this thing. And that's the only reason I have this is for ripping long tiles or doing large diagonal cuts. Um, it's heavy, it's messy. Um, I do have a decent, uh, decent blade on there. It's not very accurate as far as uh, the fence here uh, being 100% perpendicular to the blade. So if you do a full 24, God, that's even more. That might be 30 inch cut. You, you could waver up to an eighth of an inch. Uh, so it's good for covering up. You put it up against the wall, you put some baseboard on it and no one knows. This here can be had for $100 on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. It's made me a ridiculous amount of money. I've had this thing for six, seven years, but I don't like it because how big it is, how messy it is. My go-to tile saw is another Craigslist find right here. This is an MK470. It's basically an angle grinder turned on its side, hooked up to a wet saw blade. Give you a, a close up. They don't make this model anymore. I will put a link in the description to its replacement model. Uh, it's a little bit different design. You, you don't have this angle grinder deal here. I believe this is a half, half horsepower. Uh, the reason I like a half horsepower and nothing bigger is a lot of times I'm set up in people's garages. I don't want to have to worry about tripping their GFI outlets. Everything on this old MK saw is still serviceable. You can buy all sorts of replacement parts for this thing. Keep your eye out this summer at uh, garage sales, Craigslist, and Facebook Marketplace. You can find this thing for 75 bucks, 125 bucks. I believe this thing was just about $400 new. So another essential tool for a DIY tile job, especially backsplash, is an angle grinder. An angle grinder with the right blade. Wait a minute. That's not the right blade. Oh, here they are. Diamond blades. These diamond blades here cut right straight through tile. They cut through granite. They cut through cast iron. They're a little sloppier. But if you're hiding those cut joints, like behind another tile, behind an excussion, behind a plate, uh, it really doesn't matter. It does create a lot of dust. One of the benefits of a wet saw is it keeps the dust down, keeps the heat down, makes your blades last longer. But an angle grinder, you can do a lot of work. If you were okay with dust and you had yourself a P100 mask, like one of these, aren't you jealous, huh, huh? Yeah, none of that N95 stuff. You need yourself a P100, uh, 60, 90, 23 pods that go on this thing. Ain't nothing getting through here. A lot of crafty handy work can be done with an angle grinder and these little diamond blades here. What about glass tile? All this will cut through glass tile. Um, something you're going to need is to polish the edge of a glass tile. Uh, before I started doing YouTube, I remember I had a, a shower where there was glass mosaic back when people were actually putting glass mosaic in their house. And it was in a bathroom and it had a stripe that went down the wall across a bench and then down to the floor and on the edge of that bench was a cut and luckily I was prepared I've got tons of polishing discs to polish stone polish quartz granite tile glass and I was able to put the smoothest smoothest buttery edge on that glass so no one was cutting their ass I don't think these are essential tile tools I just kind of wanted to show them off because I 
spend a lot of money on all. I do recommend eye protection, although you will rarely, rarely ever see me use it uh, when using these tools, um, especially, especially this one. Um, so use some eye, eye shields, eyeglasses, those types of things, uh, or just put your safety squints on like most men do. If you have any specific questions, please leave them in the comments below. That's it for this video. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, go check out some of my other videos of me actually using all these tools, and uh, and, and get your get your masks on. Um, I did go out today to get some supplies, and I didn't go masked up, and I kind of felt a little weird. But here on out, I'll be wearing. You see me walking through the Home Depot, I got one of these on. Uh, it's getting crazy. It's almost surreal. We have not seen anything. But the, 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 the panic is real. But we haven't, it hasn't gotten to us yet. It's kind of strange. We're just waiting and waiting and waiting. We hear about the pandemic in New York and California. Uh, but we don't have any. And well... That's a story for another day. Hopefully I didn't get demonetized for saying the C word or anything like that. Have a good day. Check your Facebook marketplace and your Craigslist. You get these tools for pennies on the dollar.